I am the famous American asking you a question on a channel where we talk about DNA test results, perceptions of ethnicity and race and other social constructs. Vivian Liberto, if I say that name, does that mean anything to you? Vivian Liberto, well, she's the first wife of classic singer, musician, Johnny Cash, the legendary Johnny Cash. I live in the Nashville, Tennessee area. There is a Johnny Cash Museum. He's a big deal. But Johnny Cash's first wife, Vivian Liberto, an interesting story about her is at one point there were people uh, that had a problem with Johnny Cash because they perceived that he was married to a black woman, Vivian Liberto. As far as how she looked, she appeared to be African American and there were people who didn't like that and that was an issue. And he had to openly say, I'm not married to a black woman. Now granted, that's not to say that Johnny Cash had a problem with, with black people or anything like that. No, not at all. But he had to openly say, my wife isn't black. So let's explore that a little bit because maybe technically she was, in a sense. Technically, because again, this is a channel about DNA test results. So Vivian Liberto, one of her parents, I've done some research on this, one of her parents was an Italian-American. She was from Texas. So an Italian-American father in Texas, that's, that's her DNA. Knowing that half of her DNA goes back to Italy, I'm not saying that, 100, that that whole parent, that 50% of her DNA goes all the way back to Italy. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that when you look at her, you look at photos of her, you can tell that there's something beyond what I would just say wasp DNA in there. And I can understand how someone might look at a black and white photo of her thinking that she is African-American or at least had one parent that was part African-American. I can understand that based on pictures I've seen of her. I can understand that. But as we've learned on this channel, as we've talked about regularly, there are certain predictable ethnic backgrounds that you can find in certain groups. So for example, Italian, you, if, in case you're new to this channel, my mother, half of her DNA goes back to Italy. My great grandparents on that side came here on a boat a hundred years ago. So half of her DNA goes back to Italy. The DNA test shows four and a half percent Italian and it shows 15.2% Sephardic Jewish and 14.1% 14 West Asian, which is ultimately Iraq, Iran, uh, Turkey, that sort of thing. Middle Eastern ultimately is how we would perceive it here in the United States. Four and a half percent Italian. And, and yes, DNA tests use genetic markers that are estimates. They do a test on all the people in Spain and Italy and ultimately the most reoccurring results are gonna show up as symbolic of that particular part of the world. But what's interesting is often that you'll find with people from Italy, for example, in that Mediterranean area, you will see Middle Eastern, you will see Jewish, and you will see African. So it is possible that Vivian Liberto actually had African DNA and it came through the Italian side. And that would not be uncommon and that would not be hard to believe. But as far as African American or black American versus someone who was of Italian descent and had some distant African DNA in there. What I'm saying is if she would have taken a DNA test, it may show up. Now granted, Johnny Cash had children with her. If they took DNA test, or even his grandchildren took DNA test through that mother, it might show up that there might be some African DNA in there. So I think it is interesting. There was, there was somehow, it was ironic to in one way that people got upset with Johnny Cash that he married a black woman when she wasn't, or was she? We can't know for sure. Your thoughts belong right here.